Our archaeological team is going on a dig to Iraq to search and possibly find artifacts of the ancient Assyrians. To succeed in our dig, we must use the archaeological method. The first step of this method is background research. This step requires archaeologists to gather information about the topic before any digging takes place. In this step, you also have to figure out many things, the first being, what are you looking for? After you figure out what you are looking for, you have to know the location of the object you are looking for. You also have to ask yourself, what is the physical environment of the dig site? For example, what, is it near a city or is it in a desert? After this is answered, you figure out what you need to bring to the dig site. For example, this is some of the background research we found. At its peak, Assyria was the largest state in the world during the first millennium BCE. Their territory ranged from Iran to Egypt and from Babylon to Asia Minor and the Mediterranean Sea. Warfare was a very important part of the culture. Writing on clay instead of paper was also important to them as well, and so was art such as the bass relief sculpture. The second step of the archaeological method is the excavation process. In this process, every person in the dig must have a defined role. Safety is the most important part. A permit is required to dig in any certain area. In our dig, we found many artifacts, an Assyrian flag, part of a spear, several clay tablets, Assyrian jewelry, an Assyrian sword, and an Assyrian telescope. Also, a beautiful model of a mobile tower and a model of a battering ram. The third step of the archaeological method is the analysis of findings. During this step, the uncovered artifacts are taken to a lab for close examination. For every hour the archaeologist spends outside in the field, the scientist, in the the scientist is in the lab for 10 hours. The four questions you must ask when you are observing the artifact are what is it, how old is it, how old is it what's its purpose, and what is it made for, or is it made for trading. So, Lucy, what do you have? My artifact is in the science lab. My flag has different symbols, which could mean different meanings. This could have been part of their culture. Liam, what's your artifact? My artifact is a clay tablet. This could have been made by the Syrians and used as a writing source. The Syrians had no paper, so they might have used clay instead. And what's your artifact and what is it used for? I found part of a spear. I think its purpose was to be used as a weapon during battle. This could have, been helped, by, this could have helped the Assyrians conquer their enemies, such as the Babylonians. Caroline, what do you have and what is it used for? I have a pair of earrings. This was found in the remains of an Assyrian kidadel. This could have meant that they belonged to a woman of power or great importance. The fourth step of the archaeological method is publication. Publication is when archaeologists present the information and or artifacts they have found to the general public. Ways that archaeologists usually publicize their work is by presenting it in a book, magazine, newspaper, etc. Because of the technology available, Archaeologists are now able to sort of post their discovery on Facebook or put a video on YouTube. Publicizing is done so that archaeologists can receive credit for what they have discovered, and is also done so that information can be documented by others. Our team publicized a variety of clay tablets with writing on them. This is the information that we released. A team of five archaeologists returned from their dig in Iraq yesterday and came back with many different artifacts of Assyrian heritage. A couple of these artifacts were clay tablets with Assyrian writing on them. The archaeologists from the expedition have come to conclude that since there was no paper or papyrus available to the region of Mesopotamia in that area, that clay might have been their primary source of writing material. The fifth and final step of the archaeological method is preservation. During this process, archaeologists throw away their artifacts because they want to keep them safe. Also in the future, archaeologists may want to look at their artifacts because they may have more information about their artifact and the technology they improve. When preserving things, archaeologists must be extremely careful because their artifacts can be really fragile and they don't want to damage anything.